The founder of the Eastern Han Dynasty was Liu Shu. Liu Shu's ancestor was the first emperor of Han Dynasty. But after so many years, his father was only a small official, and he himself was just a farmer. Liu Shu did not have any ambition. His greatest dream was to marry a beautiful lady, whose name was Annie Hua. Liu Shu met Annie Hua and fell in love with her when he was a teenager. However, Liu Shu's brother Liu Yan spent all the money his father left them. Liu Yan used all the money to make friends with the gangsters and the bandits. Liu Shu worked hard on his land, but he still could not make enough money to get married. When Liu Shu was twenty years old, he got the opportunity to study at the Imperial Confucianism Academy. After a graduation, he was qualified to become an official of Xin Dynasty. Because the new ruler Wang Mang was fond of Confucianism, he sponsored lots of students to study at Taixue, the Imperial Confucianism Academy. Liu Xiu was one of them. Wang Mang established Xin Dynasty and ended West Han Dynasty, but he did not kill. All the members of royal Liu clan. Instead, he gave lots of benefits to the distant royal Liu clan members. That's why Liu Shu got this opportunity to study at Taixue. When Liu Shu arrived in Chang'an, he saw the imperial guarding army in charge of the security. They rode on tall and big horses, wearing beautiful uniforms. Liu Shu was so impressed by the mighty and majestic look of the imperial guards, he exclaimed, "If a man wants to be an official, imperial guards is the best career. If a man wants to choose a wife, Annie Hua is the best choice." Liu Shu spent around five years at the Imperial Confucianism Academy to study and research the Confucianism classics. He probably was not a good student because he and his friends operated a logistic company during these years. In A.D. 22, Liu Shu transported some grain to Wancheng City and planned to gain some money there. In Wancheng City, he met the two richest local businessmen, Li Tong and the Li Yi brothers. When they saw Liu Xiu, they exclaimed, "You are the right person we are looking for." Li Tong and Li Yi had a hobby: researching the profit books. One day, they found one verse in the National Profit Book: "The Liu Clan will rise again, and the Li Clan will be the assistant." At that time, more and more rebellion armies came out. Due to Wang Mang's bad political reform, so the Li brothers believed Wang Mang's Xin Dynasty would end soon. It's time to for a big investment. Since then, they started to look for the right person with the family name Liu. When they saw Liu Xiu, they were amazed by Liu Xiu's appearance. How did Liu Xiu look like? According to historical documents. Liu Shou had high nose, long beard, and beautiful eyes. Chinese historical documents usually describe the ruler to have a majestic but frightening look, unless he was extremely handsome. This was a kind of Chinese ruling philosophy: to make people fear was better than to make people love. Anyway. Liu Xiu was super handsome. Li Tong and Li Yi believed Liu Xiu was the son of the prophet, so they persuaded Liu Xiu to rebel. Liu Xiu himself never wanted to be involved in the trouble. Instead, he just wanted to get a position from the Xin Dynasty government and married Yin Li Hua after he graduated from the Confucianism Academy. But Li Yi and the Li Tong brothers were outstanding investors. They successfully made Liu Xiu to join 
their remaining business. What's more, Niu Shou's brother Niu Yan already started his rebellion business, so Niu Shou had no choice but to rebel. With the money from the Ni brothers, Niu Shou bought some weapons and began to recruit. Niu Shou's brother Niu Yan started recruiting long before he did. When their fellow countrymen saw Niu Shou's brother Niu Yan, they ran away and shouted, Niu Yan is killing us. They did not want to join Niu Yan's rebellion army because they thought Niu Yan was a dangerous person and he had lots of dangerous friends. If they were caught by the government, their whole family would be exterminated. When they saw Niu Shou recruiting, they said, Even the good guy Niu Shou is rebellion now. Wang Mang's Xin Dynasty will collapse soon. Because Niu Shou was considered to be a trustable and reliable person, his recruitment was quite successful. He soon organized an army of 7,000 men. The 7,000 men were mainly the landlords and their tenants or servants. They thought if young master Niu Shou would be the emperor after overthrowing the Xin dynasty, then I would be the duke or marquis. Such a good opportunity. Because Niu Shou's great-grandpa's cousin was the marquis of Chongning, this army was then called Chongning Army. At first, Niu Shou did not have money to buy a war horse, so he rode on the knocks on the battlefield. But he gradually accumulated strength after winning several wars. Niu Shou's Chongning Army was not the only one in his hometown. There were some other rebellion armies. The largest one was the Green Forest Army. There were many peasants suffered from hunger and heavy tax. They became bandits and escaped to the mountains. Green Forest Army were much stronger than Chongning Army, but they did not exterminate Chongning Army to expand their territory. Instead, they decided to cooperate with them. Because Wang Mang's social reform brought disasters and chaos, people missed the rule of Han. The rebellion armies with the slogan of rebuilding Han would get people's support and expand quickly. The leaders of Green Forest Army then decided to make one descendant of royal Liu family to be the new emperor and create their regime. Liu Xiu's father Liu Yan was so confident that he would be supported to be the emperor. However, he was told he was not chosen. The leader of Green Forest Army, Wang Feng, disliked Liu Yan for his arrogance. He thought Liu Yan was too competent and smart. He wanted to make an easy to control one. Did he choose Liu Xiu? No, he didn't. Because the leaders of Green Forest Army were many bandits, so they treated Liu Shou as a gentle Confucianism student and they looked down upon him. In 23 AD, Liu Shou and Liu Yan's cousin Liu Xuan was supported by the Green Forest Army to be the emperor. Liu Xuan's great-grandpa was the Marquis of Chongning, so he was more advantaged than Liu Shou brothers. What's more, he was considered to be an easy-to-control person. Liu Xuan was recorded as Gen Shi Emperor. His regime was named Gen Shi Regime, which means restarting. The leaders of the rebellion army announced the reign of Han was re-established. They were not Green Forest Army anymore, but Han Army and they granted themselves titles such as generals, dukes, or minister of defense. Anyway, as long as they were happy. In one or two days, the former bandits all became nobles. However, the newly established regime was settled in a small village because they did not even occupy one city. Gen Shi Emperor did not want to set his capital in a small mountain village. This made him feel that he was a bandit emperor. 
so he ordered Niu Yan to attack a nearby big city, Wan Cheng City. Niu Yan then took the main force to attack Wan Cheng, but he left Niu Xiu to stay with Wang Feng, the leader of Green Forest Army. When the Xin Dynasty Emperor Wang Mang heard the Green Forest Army and the Chongling Army had made one emperor and announced the regime, he was shocked. At first, he ignored the Green Forest Army as some peasants who ran to the Green Forest for food. Now they announced the re-establishment of Han Empire. Therefore, the legitimacy of Xin Dynasty will be shaken. The Green Forest Army immediately became the top threat to Wang Mang instead of the Red Eye Brown Army. The Red Eye Brown Army was another peasant rebellion army in China. Wang Mang assembled his main force to exterminate the Green Forest Army. According to the Book of Later Han, 220,000 Wang Mang's Xin Dynasty troops were heading towards the territory of Green Forest Army. Ever since China entered into its imperial stage, there was no war with soldiers outnumbered this one. One 2.4 meters high giant man was also in Wang Mang's Xin Dynasty Army. This giant man was recorded in later Han Book as Zhu Wu Ba which means huge and domineering. When Mac Big was first introduced to China, people found it was so huge and so big, so they named it Zhu Wu Bai in Chinese. Back to the original Zhu Wu Bai in history, he had a special skill, driving the fierce animals such as tiger, leopard, and elephants along with Xin Dynasty army to boost morale. When the Green Forest Army heard Wang Mang's main force was approaching, they retreated to a small military garrison named Quenyang. The leaders all wanted to give up because they only had 9,000 men. Their main force was led by Liu Xiu's brother Liu Yan and somewhere else. Just as they were discussing how to retreat, Liu Xiu interrupted them and persuaded them to stay and resist the Xin army. He said, if we try to escape, Xin army would block and attack us on the way. At that time, our strength is dispersed. We are easy to be killed. Currently, our main force is attacking Nanyang County. If we could get help from our main force, we will stay in the Quenyang garrison to defend the enemy. Then we will survive. The leaders of Green Forest Army were shocked because Niu Xiu was a quiet man. He seldom talked. They all treated Liu Xiu as a spy sent by his brother Liu Yan. Actually, Liu Xiu indeed was a spy sent by his brother Liu Yan to monitor the leaders of Green Forest Army. When the leaders of Green Forest Army heard Liu Xiu wanted them to stay, they stood up and were about to beat him. Just then, one month's main force was arriving earlier. They had no choice but to take Niu Xiu's advice and hoped Niu Xiu could save them because Niu Xiu's brother Niu Yan was leading the Allies' main force attacking another city and fighting with the government army. No one could get Niu Yan's reinforcement except Niu Xiu. Niu Xiu and another 12 men rode on the horses and immediately set off. As soon as they left, Wang Mang's Xin army arrived. The banners of Xin army even covered the sun. The leaders of Green Forest army immediately decided to surrender to Xin army. But the commander of Xin army replied, It's too late. Wash your neck and wait for the massacre. Wang Feng and other leaders had no choice but to wait for Niu Xiu's reinforcement from his brother Niu Ye. At that time, Niu Yan was attacking another big city, Wan Chen City, and he was about to occupy this city. Niu Yan did not want to miss this opportunity. What's more, he did not want to help the leaders of Green Forest Army either, because they supported his cousin Niu Xuan to be the emperor instead of him. He wished they would be exterminated 
by government army. When Skenshi Emperor's supporters were killed, he could be the new emperor. Liu Xiu could stay with his brother for safety concern, but he was a man of promise, so he went to other places for reinforcement. Liu Xiu turned to the nearby big landlords for help. These big landlords had their private armies, but they were frightened by Wang Mang's two hundred twenty thousand troops. They did not want to help the Green Forest Army in Qinyang. They only wanted to stay where they were and protected their fortune. Liu Xiu was anxious. He said, "If we could defend the army, we will have numerous fortune and wealth. If we are defeated, we would lose our head." The big landlords were convinced that they were in the same boat with the Green Forest Army. Many of them were the sponsors of the Green Forest Army, so they decided to assist the Green Forest Army in Qinyang. Liu Xiu then summoned around ten thousand troops and led them to Qinyang. When they arrived outside Qinyang Garrison, the Xin Dynasty Army were already there. Their camps, one after another, was as long as one hundred miles. They had dug ten tunnels. Around the Qinyang garrison, and wanted to make it collapse. The commander of Xin Army knew that Wang Feng was the leader of Green Forest Army, but he was not in a hurry to break the city and capture him. He wanted to let the Green Forest Army's main force in Wancheng City to come to Qinyang for saving Wang Feng. Then he could capture them all. However, he was wrong. The Green Forest Army's main force did not come to save Wang Feng. The commander of the Xin Army got angry. Wang Feng was even angrier than him. He hated Liu Yan did not come in to save him. However, out of his expectation, Liu Yan's young brother Liu Xiu led a group of men to save him. Liu Xiu led ten thousand cavalry, constantly bravely dashed to the Xin army to challenge them. However, the commander of Xin army neglected Liu Xiu as some tiny harassment. As time went by, this situation had changed. Wancheng City was occupied by the main force of Green Forest Army, so lots of Green Forest soldiers. Who were Wang Feng's subordinates and friends came from Wancheng to save Wang Feng. Liu Xiu chose three thousand men as expendables and let them dash to the camps of Xin Army. Liu Xiu ordered them to shout out loud, "Wancheng is occupied by Han Army," and they shot arrows everywhere. These arrows were not ordinary ones. The shafts of the arrows were tied up with letters. Wan Chen is occupied by Han Army. Our reinforcement was on the way. When the Xin Army saw these arrows, they were frightened. The leader of the Xin Army was provoked by Liu Xiu. In order to stabilize morale, he decided to do well with Liu Xiu. He led ten thousand. Iron armor warriors to fight with Liu Xiu and Liu Xiu's three thousand expendables, and he ordered the rest of Xin Army to stay in their camps to watch the show. They were not allowed to come out of their campus unless he ordered them to. The Green Forest Army, watching the show inside the Qinyang Garrison, was shocked. They exclaimed, "General Liu was timid in small wars." But brave in big wars, how strange! The commander of Xin Army knew Liu Xiu was a student of Imperial Confucianism Academy. He totally looked down upon Liu Xiu. However, all of a sudden, Liu Xiu rushed to him and cut off his head. The co-commander of Xin Army was shocked. He immediately ran away. Liu Xiu and his three thousand cavalry then exterminated. The camps of Xin Army one by one. At the same time, Wang Feng led the rest of Green Forest Army came out of Qinyang Garrison and participated in the war. 
devil in full spirit. The Xin army could not resist. Just then, a heavy thunderstorm came. It suddenly became black during the day. The Xin army were in chaos. Seems that even the heaven had participated in the show after watching for a long time. The big wind, the storm, and the thunder made the Xin army desperately run away, which caused a serious stampede. When they escaped to the river, the sudden flood caused lots of Xin soldiers died. The numerous dead bodies even blocked the river. At last, Green Forest Army and its allies, which now was called Han Army, won the war. They picked up numerous equipment, armors, and weapons left by Xin Army. They became rich now. Wang Feng was glad that he survived. He could not forgive Liu Xiu's brother Liu Yan, who did not come to save him. After the war of Quenyang, Wang Feng found an excuse to kill Liu Yan, but Wang Feng did not kill Liu Xiu because he was so grateful that Liu Xiu came back to save him. So he spared Liu Xiu, even though he was Liu Yan's brother. After the war of Quenyang, Wang Mang's Xin regime collapsed. A few months later, the Green Forest Army attacked and occupied Chang'an. Wang Mang was killed. Xin Dynasty was ended. Liu Xiu became world famous. He was granted as the Marquis of Marshall and Trust and the General of Breaking Northern Barbarian. Liu Xiu's cousin Liu Xuan, who was Gengshi Emperor, was so jealous of Liu Xiu, he decided to get rid of him. Liu Xiu was in danger. He might be killed by any excuse at any time. However, Liu Xiu was such a lucky man. He was picked up by one large landlord to be the son-in-law. That was Yin Hua's family. Yin Hua's family was the largest landlord of Nanyang County, and they were the largest sponsor of Green Forest Army. So Liu Xiu was saved. Yin Hua was Liu Xiu's first love. Liu Xiu loved her since he was 19 years old. Ten years had passed. Liu Xiu was still single. He used to be a poor noble. Now he was famous, and he was the Marquis. He finally could marry his dream lady. In the next episode, we will talk about how Liu Xiu became the Lord of Lost China and finally became the Emperor of China. Thanks for watching.